Today, I'm incredibly excited to announce that we've been working on the mobile sector for a while, this segment. We've brought in the talent, we've done the design, we've done the, the engineering, and what we're gonna be presenting today in a single line is the ultimate in mobile entertainment. So, it's a smartphone, and we're calling it the Razor Phone. Right. So are you guys ready to hear about the Razor Phone? All right, here we go. So what did we do to create the ultimate in mobile entertainment? Pretty much five things. All right? And I'm going to take you through the five features that truly differentiate the Razer phone from every other smartphone on the planet. First up, the display. This is something that all of us are concerned about when it comes to smartphones. This is what all of us are concerned about when it comes to, to gamers. It's what we are concerned about. We're keen, we talk about it all the time. Graphics, displays, so on and so forth. So what did we do with the Razer phone? Well, we spent an insane amount of money. <laughs> All right? We worked with some of the top people in the world. We spent an insane amount of money. So we've got a proprietary, a proprietary screen that is only available to us, designed specifically for gamers, designed specifically for entertainment. And when I show you the specs, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, for the display, mm -hmm. the Razer phone has the world's first 120 hertz ultra motion display. For the first time ever. It's truly great. Now, let's talk about the display. It's a beautiful, beautiful display. 120 hertz. Now, what does that do? Well, in short, there's no motion lag, there's no stuttering, there's no ghosting. As you can see, between 60 hertz and 120 hertz, you get it perfect. And the problem with a keynote like this is that even the cameras that are capturing the keynote right now, they're not gonna be able to capture the screen beautifully. Why? Because they're all being captured at 60 hertz at this point of time. So I'm sorry for those of you on the, on the, on the stream, you'll have to actually see the screen in person afterwards when we do the demos, but it's insane. It's 120 hertz. No lag, none of the stuttering, no motion blur for the first time ever. So that's the 120 hertz bit of it. Now, what about ultra motion? What is ultra motion? Well, in a single line, ultra motion is a unique adaptive refresh technology that synchronizes the GPU signals with the display. And for the PC gamers out here, and how many of you guys are PC gamers? Woo! All right, I'm sure you guys are familiar with something called G-Sync from NVIDIA. Now what we've done for the mobile is to look at what NVIDIA has done, and we've taken it to the next level to get the GPU signals in sync with the refresh rates dynamically at the same time. So what does that mean? It means for the first time ever, now this is truly groundbreaking technology that we've done. We've built this together with Qualcomm, with nature that has got the smoothest, smoothest mobile experience ever on a screen. And we'll do that demo afterwards. It's the smoothest ever. No other mobile display on the planet has this today. There's no tearing and no lag, even at the highest frame rates. And it's dynamic. Because ultra motion will make sure it's dynamic. It runs at the perfect refresh rate at any point of time. And finally, because it's dynamic, it's got significant improvement to all battery life. I'm sure many of you guys are concerned, what if it's 120 hertz? Is it gonna take up a lot of battery life? Absolutely not. With ultra motion, it provides significant battery life improvements. Just think about it for the first time ever. 120 hertz ultra motion. So what else about the display? Well, it's a 5.7 inch display. 120 hertz refresh rate, as I've mentioned. Ultra motion. It's got wide color gamut. 
All right, so it's beautiful. The colors just pop out on the screen. It's, it's pretty cool. And it's got a 2K display, 1440 by 2560 Quad HD. So everything, you know, see, looks laser sharp. It's perfect. And finally, while we were designing the screen, this display, we worked with whom we trusted in terms of making the best entertainment screens. And who does that? Well, no other than Sharp Ixo. Ixo screens, as many of you guys use, are they're beautiful. We use them exclusively on the razor blades because they provide a perfect pixel density. And it just looks great. And the world's first only 120 hertz screen with ultra motion on a mobile display. So it's got a beautiful display. So that's the first thing. So what's next? Audio. We need it to look good and we need it to sound good. So many of you, I'm sure, you know, watch movies, TV, you know, TV or, or play games on the, on the mobile today, on the subway, on the way to work, on the way to school. What we've done is that for the first time ever, and no one's ever done this in a mobile device, all right? No one. What we've done is that we've taken the cinema and put it straight on the phone. So what it's got is true to life, cinematic audio. For the first time ever, in the palm of your hand, you've got probably the loudest phone out there. It's pretty insane. It's powered by Dolby Atmos, it's, it's really insane. And it is the world's first phone which is certified by THX. Right! True cinematic experience. True cinematic experience. It's got dual front facing speakers. Alright? People say that, oh yeah, you know, we use the phones, we, we know how to build phones for, for gamers and stuff like that. And I go like, do you know you put the speakers exactly where the hands cover them when you're playing games? Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's the thing. Simple things like that. And today we've come up with the first dual front facing stereo speakers. And you know something about the speakers? They're massive speakers. They're much bigger. They sound better than any of the phones out there. Why? Because they're not just loud but we've also got them each with a dedicated oh. app. It's just insane. <laughs> and of course, as I mentioned, powered by Dolby Atmos. Truly great. Now, it's not just the speakers on the phone that sounds great. What about the headphones? Well, it's true audiophile headphone sound. <clears throat> it's got a 24-bit DAC. Just think about it, a 24-bit DAC certified by THX. So that's what we've done with phone. We've put in all the bells and whistles. It's got an incredible display, and it's got an insane audio performance. So that's the second thing. All right, performance. It's all about performance for us. Now we've focused on performance all the time at Razer. <coughs> You've seen our peripherals, you've seen our laptops. We take performance to the next level. So how, do, how does the new Razer phone perform? Well, it's got insane performance, <laughs> right? It's got truly insane performance. Well, we use the flagship Qualcomm Snapdragon 835. Now this is that CPU which is used by all the flagship phones today. But of course, it's not just the CPU that is important. We've got to look at the RAM. So in looking at the RAM, we decided to look at the entire field of flagship phones out there and decide how much RAM does a gamer need, all right? Well, first up, the iPhone 8 Plus comes with three gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> now, the Samsung S8 Plus does a little better with four gigabytes of RAM. Now, the new Razer phone, comes with eight gigabytes of RAM. It's got an insane amount of RAM. Just FYI, 
It's got the same amount of RAM as a MacBook Pro, by the way. <laughs> All right, right in the palm of your hand. So it's got a great CPU. It's got an insane amount of RAM. So you can have multiple, multiple um, applications running at the same time. Yeah. So let's look at some of the benchmarks. So we ran the new Razer phone up against the uh, Samsung S8 Plus, and it's outperformed it <coughs> tremendously. So you can look at the GFX bench for the car chase is at 26, the S8 Plus is at 21, Manhattan 3.1, 43 to 36, and the list goes on. The new Razer phone has got insane performance. In fact, it's not just performance that is great about the new Razer phone. What we did was that we got the best thermals engineers, the same ones that worked on the Razer Blade. We made sure that we worked them doubly hard <laughs> and had them look at the, the new Razer phone. And today, of the entire field of all the shipping, Qualcomm, Snapdragon, A35 phones out there, every single flagship phone, the new Razer phone outperforms them all for thermal performance. That is insane. So, insane performance. That's the third thing. Now, what's the fourth thing? Now, before I get there, remember, it is often said <laughs> that with great power, comes great battery drain. <laughs> <laughs> now, not Uncle Ben said that, because if Uncle Ben said that, we'd have to pay Marvel some royalties, but fortunately we don't have to, all right? So what's the next thing we want to talk about? <laughs> yeah, someday, someday, battery. I need to have security in here. <laughs> so let's talk about battery, all right? So the new Razer phone has power that just keeps going. And again, we looked at the entire field and said, what are we gonna do for the new Razer phone? You know, haven't, you know it's, it's incredibly annoying when you, when you see all the phones getting thinner, you know, lighter, but then you have to bring a battery pack alongside with you. It doesn't make sense anymore. So what we did was we designed a phone that made sense for all of us. So we looked at the the competitors or the, the, the <laughs> state of art out there. We looked at the iPhone 8 Plus. It's got a 2675 milliamp hour battery. That's a pretty hefty battery. But the Samsung S8 Plus has taken it to its next <coughs> level at 3,500 milliamp hours. That's a pretty big battery. But for us, we've got the largest battery in a flagship phone this generation. 4,000 milliampere. It's great. We designed this phone for you, for all the entertainment. But let's see what the battery benchmarks are. You know, we're ticking all the boxes over here, right? Here we go. So what are the battery benchmarks? For movies, you can watch in a single charge, 12 and a half hours for a movie. Well, you've got to get a couple of movies in there. You know, you take Blade Runner and run it maybe twice and you might be there, but 12 and a half hours of movie watching. Music, 63 and a half hours on a single charge. Just think about it. And of course, in the spirit of testing, and you know the kind of tough work I have to do all the time, I had to play Hearthstone, right? Oh man. Somebody's gonna play Hearthstone, and you can play it for seven hours straight on the 4,000 milliampere uh, milliamp hour battery. Isn't that insane? All right? It's got a great, great battery life. Power that just keeps going. But, of course, we know you might need to charge a phone from time to time. So we've got it on Qualcomm Quick Charge 4 Plus. And this is the first phone in the world to be shipping this together with it. All right? So what does that mean? It means in a single hour, bear in mind, in a single hour, that means 3,400 milliamp hours, this charges from zero to 85%. That's super fast, all right? So we made sure that it didn't just have a, an insane amount of battery, it would be charged super quickly. 
So that's the fourth thing. Now we've chatted about the display, we've looked at the audio, we've looked at the performance, it's got a great battery. So what's left? It's the camera. It's not the toaster. It's the camera. And for the camera, it's got an amazing, amazing camera performance. We've made sure we ticked off every single box when we designed our very first flagship phone. So what kind of camera does it have? Now the rear camera, it's got dual 12 megapixel cameras. It's got a wide angle and a two times telephoto. All right, dual cameras. And it's got seamless zoom with image, uh, with image fusion. So what does that mean? Well, traditional cameras, you know, when they flip between the um, dual cameras, they would have to you know, have an actual switch in between on the screen to allow you to switch between cameras. For ourselves with the new Razer phone, it's now seamless zoom. As you pinch and zoom, and we take two photos simultaneously with each camera and fuse them together to make sure you get the perfect, perfect image. So we've made sure that you've got the very best image out there for dual camera. So what kind of images are we talking about? Well, here are a couple of images we've taken with the actual phone that's shipping with, um, with the actual camera that's shipping with the phone. You can see the colors pop, the lights there, it's natural. There's no, there's no distortion. And of course, for the Instagrammers out there, it takes great pictures of food also at the same time. All right, looks good enough to eat. And of course, depth of field. We've spent a lot of time making sure that the camera's really, really great. So kudos to the team for building such an amazing camera, but bear in mind there are many more new features that we're rolling out for the camera along the way. Slow-mo, portrait mode, capturing 120 hertz. All of this is going to be updated in the next couple of months. It's all for the new Razer phone. All right? There's still a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll touch on the uh, display. It's got an amazing, amazing display, 120 hertz, ultra motion, wide color gamut. We've talked about the audio, dual front facing speakers, powered by Dolby Atmos, certified by THX. The insane performance, Qualcomm Snapdragon 835. 8 gigs of RAM, the same as a MacBook Pro, all right? We've talked about the battery. It's a whopping 4,000 milliamp hour battery, the largest in a flagship phone today. And of course, that amazing camera performance, five things. And you know, there's a whole lot more. We couldn't fit in the entire keynote, otherwise we'd be here all night. But uh, everything else that matters in a phenomenal phone, well, 64 gigs of storage, but if that's not enough for you, we've got a micro SD slot. So you can bump it up at any point of time with flex storage. Front-facing camera for all you guys who are into selfies. It's got an 8-megapixel camera. It's got dual-tone, dual LED flash. Now, the fingerprint sensor is in the power key, and you'll see what I mean afterwards. It just works seamlessly. Finally, it's an all-aluminum CNC chassis. It's just beautiful to behold. It's an Android 7 at the start as we ship, but we're going to be updating that to Oreo by quarter one of 2018 for every one of you who buy the, the new Razer phone. And it comes with stock Android. And we worked with one of the most popular launchers in the world. Many of you, I'm sure, use Nova. You guys use Nova? Yeah. yeah. All right, there we go. Well, we've worked with the guys at Nova to make sure there's a Razer edition you get a Prime Edition free with every single phone. And of course, dimensions. Well, I'm gonna show you the phone in a bit, but you guys must be thinking, with that amount of power, with that insane battery, you know, all the features we've stuffed in this, this gotta be something really heavy and, and big, right? No, absolutely not. This is the same weight as an iPhone 8 Plus. There we go, so it's super light, it feels really good, We've packed a lot of goodness 
in a single phone. So, the ultimate in mobile entertainment. We've spent so much time putting together everything in a seamless package, and it's truly, truly incredible. And as we designed the phone, you know, we looked at many of the other phones out there, and, and uh, we kind of took a reference, and if you look at them, all of them kind of look about the same. Rounded edges, you know, over there. What we wanted to do was create something that looked incredibly different. Are you guys ready to see it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've got a really short revealed video to share with everyone. And here it is. facing speakers with its really large speakers out there, dual amplifiers, and it just looks beautiful. Here's another angle. All right, you can look at it from the side, and that's the power button on the side that we've designed. It's, uh, it's got an integrated fingerprint sensor for your thumb as you pick it up. And it's a beautiful all aluminum chassis. It's got a chrome <coughs> triple-headed snake logo at the back. And here's another view of it. Now, would you guys like to see it in person? Yes. Yeah. All right, uh, Eric, can I trouble you to get me one of these? Oh, thank you very much. So Eric's going to join us for a couple of demos afterwards. So this is the actual packaging that you'll receive for the Razer phone. And it just looks beautiful. Look at that. All right, so I'm just going to open it so you guys can have a look at it. And here you go. It just looks beautiful. Just look at that 120 hertz wide color gamut screen with 2K, it's a quad HD screen. It just looks great. All right, Eric. Oh, thank you. You got another one for me? Perfect. So I thought I'd just take this and play around with it and let you guys have a look at that. So here you go. You know, you can see we've got the um, fingerprint sensor on the side. It just hold it over here. It's truly ergonomic. You can see the buttons over here as you hold it. Dual front-facing speakers at the same time. And there you go. And we'll do a couple of demos so you can actually have a look at it. You can feel it and it's really light. It just feels great. And look at this. With a 4,000 milliamp hour battery in something as thin and light as this. All right. So here you go. And you can have a hands-on at it at the AFK afterwards. So let's talk about what goes into, you know, the new Razer phone and what you can use it for. We've got a couple of demos. So, what do we have? Can we get this uh, screen back on? Watch, listen, play. You can watch movies, listen to music, play some games. So let's chat about how all of these features actually apply to the phone itself. So let's talk about movies. Well, you've got the dual front-facing speakers, Oops. You've got the dual front-facing speakers, you've got the ultra motion screen, you've got the beautiful 5.7 inch display with a 2K resolution, and it's powered by Dolby Atmos. It just looks beautiful. You can run all your content on it. Some of the latest movies are coming up with 120 hertz um, at this juncture. It just looks great. So what else can you run on the screens itself? Well, we've worked with our partners at GoPro because they've got a beautiful, new device called the Hero 6 Black. And it's great. Now, what does the Hero 6 do? Well, the Hero 6 
actually captures action videos in 2K resolution and 120 hertz. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got a live video now. To be to be clear, for those of you on the screen uh, on the stream, that you know, the camera captures only in 60 hertz. So only the guys over here in the in the front of the audience or to the back and afterwards at the AFK, you will be able to see this running beautifully. And here you go. And it's pretty loud, by the way. So can you see that? Oops, can we just run that again? Yeah. We're getting another feed up there. So for those of you that can see it at the bottom, you can see there's absolutely no motion ghosting. It's just running buttery smooth. It's beautiful. So this is this has been provided by our friends. It's running at 2K resolution and 120 hertz. So thank you to our friends at GoPro. And thank you very much, Eric. Thank you. A round of applause for Eric. So think about it. It just looks great. So you guys are going to be able to, to experience it, even scrolling. Just think about it. When you scroll on it, it's going to be buttery, buttery smooth. There's no jittering, nothing. So go try it out afterwards. So what else? Music. Oh, do I have music there already? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Listening to music. Well, again, Dolby Atmos, dual front-facing speakers if you want to do that. And we've made sure that when you listen to the music on the new Razer phone, it's audio file quality. Why? Because it's been certified by THX. So that's music for you. And think about it, 63 and a half hours on a single charge. That's what we've built, a multimedia powerhouse. Why is that the case? Well, because if you think about it, most people today, like myself included, we just use our phones more for entertainment than anything else. That's why we focused on movies, music, and games. So, games. That's something that all of you guys are waiting for, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. So what have we done? Well, bear in mind that this is the world's first with a 120 hertz screen with the ultra motion. It's got dual front facing stereo speakers. It's got this really great ergonomic button placement. And think about all the other games today that when your hands will always cover the speakers and it's just a horrible, horrible experience. And what we've done is also extend the game booster experience that we have with Cortex, used by millions of gamers on the PC, we've now brought it across to the mobile phone. So now we've got Game Booster for running right on the, on the Razer phone. And what does the Razer Game Booster do? Well, in a single line, it optimizes the phone for gameplay. So what can it do? Well, for every single game, you can either choose to boost performance, bring it up to 120 hertz, you can have custom settings, you can switch off notifications. Now, how many of you guys get irritated when you play a game and notifications come in? All right? Now you can switch that all off, all right? With the new Razer Game Booster, you can fine tune your gameplay, you've got custom configurations for every single game. Just think about it, automatically, as you, as you load them, it'll remember your settings, DND, for example, or whether you want it to run at 90 hertz, 60 hertz, or when battery is low, you want to run it at uh, what, whatever performance. All of that right now is set up with Razer Game Booster. So that's what we've done for games on the new Razer phone. And next up, we haven't just looked at the hardware or the software platform. Next up, we've worked with some of the best games on the planet to give you that very best performance. And many of them have created special Quad HD 2K versions running at 120 hertz exclusively just for the Razer phone. All right? And some of these games are just insane. And this is one of them I'm really, really excited about. And one of them I'm really excited about, I think it's gonna be one of the biggest games, if not the biggest game out there. It's called Arena of Valor, all right? So Arena of Valor is going to be launching exclusively. And what I've got is one of our friends over here at Razer. We work closely with Tencent. So I'd like to invite to the stage Vincent, Global Marketing Director at Tencent, to talk a little bit about Arena of Valor. Vincent? Right. Thank you very much.
Hi everyone. Thank you, Ming. <laughs> no, it's mine. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we are incredibly excited to celebrate the launch of this form today with Reser in London. And actually, it's an honor for me to be on the stage. Actually, <coughs> Reser form for this new Reser form actually uh, bring the real-time competitive game to the small screen as a reality. Until now, from what I'm saying, that the vast majority of current mobile games are more casually competitive, not nearly just the, like what you can get from a gaming PC. But now, through the partnership with Razer, Tencent Games is the delivering a f the first true multiplayer online battle arena game, what we call mobile game, also known as one of the most complicated game type in PC era to the mobile device with our new title, Arena of Valor. Vela launched in August in Europe and is launching in North America very soon. So this game actually is a fast, furious 5 vs 5 competitive mobile game unlike anything else you've seen before on a mobile device. <laughs> actually, for us, it's and for Razer, it's a great opportunity for both companies. Because for Razer, it creates a device that's specifically for gamers who want the PC playing experience on mobile device in the palm of their hands. And for <coughs> Arena of Vela, actually, we develop for gamers who really want to enjoy the PC Mobile 5 first 5 competitive experience wherever they are and anytime they want. So for me, I can see it's just a case map. That's why our teams work so closely to get together to make sure Arena Vela is the best game on the new Razer phone. And for me, personally, playing Arena Vela on the new Razer phone is one of the best experience I ever had. Because I was so impressed by the super smooth graphic and also totally blown away by the gaming music which is composed and produced by Hans Zimmer coming from the door from facing speakers of the new Razer phone. Actually, that's why it feels like if you know the mobile game a little bit, you know that the every ability you use and also the every action that happens in the game just looks and sounds amazing. I have to say that's the ultimate gaming experience on mobile. I cannot wait for all of you to try it out. And as Tencent, we do believe that the future of the game is moving to mobile. And Arena Vela is just the first step of us. In the future, we look forward to maintaining the relationship with Razer and bring more or even better games to mobile. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, and last thing, Arena Vela, download for free in Google Play. And play that with your new Razer phone. Thank you. That's just great. Arena of Valor, I don't know about you guys, but I've been playing a lot of, of it. You know, it's, um, it's a game I'm really excited about. Personally, I think it's going to be a massive, massive esports title. 
all right, in the future. In fact, I think it already is at this point of time. And, and think about it, playing with it, we've got an exclusive 120 hertz 2K version. It just looks beautiful on the new Razer phone. And the dual front facing speakers, music composed by Hans Zimmer. I mean, that is just insane. So that's the first game that we've had, we have today. Next up, I've got um, a couple of other games that we've been working with, and we're working with a whole slew of them at this point of time, so we've got some very cool videos. Well, there are two other games I'd like to kind of share a video with, uh, about, and the first up, it's uh, Tekken. We've got a special oh. version of Tekken for the Razer phone. And what else? It's not just Tekken. Back to back, we're also going to run from our friends at Square Enix, Final Fantasy XV. All right, it just looks great. So, without much further ado, from our friends at Bandai Namco, the trailer for Tekken, and then Final Fantasy XV. Here we go. <laughs> Badass. 
right? So it's only going to be available at Razor Store San Francisco, but fear not, also, it's also going to be available at the Microsoft stores and selected units. And think about it, we're going to spread all of these around the world, all right? In the three stores right here in Europe. So that's what we have tonight. That insane Razer phone. We've built it to be the ultimate in mobile entertainment. But that's not all. <laughs> all right? So we've got one thing that we wanted to share with every single uh, one of you here. Toaster. And, <laughs> 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 it is not the toaster. <laughs> Maybe even though it's not. <laughs> and that is the Razer theme store. Now we know that every single one of you likes to customize your, your rigs. We, we know you would want to customize your phones. We want to make sure that it's not just the wallpapers, it's the notifications, it's the, it's the ringtones, it's the icon packs and stuff like that. So we've got uh, Eric over here to kind of take us through what the Razer theme store is and what it can do. Eric? All right, so uh, <clears throat> we're here. This is our home screen. We have uh, the theme store right here, ready to go. And um, when we load in, you'll get to see a ton of our content. Why is that good with a... <laughs> we have uh, our library already here <laughs> downloaded, just in case it takes a little time. Um, you can see we're on the default theme. Uh, for those who keep asking for the toaster, there's a little uh, Easter egg in there for you too. Yes, uh, Easter egg for me. <laughs> right, can we, let's, let's look at Arena of Valor, my favorite game right now. Absolutely. Can we try that out? Let's check it out. Uh, it just takes a second to apply. Already done. If we go back to our home screen. Beautiful. Yeah, nice wallpaper, right? Uh, look, all of the default icons have been skinned as well. And the ringtone? Ringtone as well, for it. and check it out. If we uh, go to the settings, even the settings menu and everything gets gets skinned along with it. Isn't that cool? Yeah. All right, here we go. And a special lock screen just oh. for Arena of Valor. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Eric. Thank you. So that's what we have. You know, the Razer theme store that's going to be available at launch. And it's not only that, we've got a whole lot of themes that are going to be available. Dash Galactic, Whispering Willows, we've got Vendetta, we've got Dying Light, you know, Samurai Rampage, Titanfall. You know, all these themes, Arena of Valor, Gear Club, and you know what? All of these themes are absolutely free when you order it at launch, all right? So this is our gift to every single one of you, to be able to customize your phone, to be able to try out everything that we've got, the ultimate in mobile entertainment, and that's what we have here tonight. So thank you very much, and let's remain for gamers by gamers. Thank you.